we're good. We're good. Joe is into the breach. I'm not gonna do the stupid joke like I did last time. Cool. Into the breach by Subset Games, who uh, graciously gave us a copy of the game to check out and promote, which I'm gonna do the hell out of right now because I love this game. Thanks, guys. It is the follow-up to FTL, which is one of the greatest rogue lights of all time. Light with a T. And is a grid-based tactical strategy game, which you are going to love, I think. So. Why don't I uh, why don't I show you the ropes real quick with the mouse? Yes. Real quick. So this are is we, are we gonna pretend that we didn't have a failed recording before this? We are. <clears throat> okay. We are, <laughs> we are going to pretend. <laughs> All right. I've so, never played the game before. Here we go. Uh, just played less than ten minutes of the game. So the basic idea is uh, grid based combat, and the way to do that is with a series of mechs, a set of mechs. You always have three of them. There are many squads to choose from, each with the unique attacks and abilities and attributes. There are plenty to choose from. I don't want to spoil those. We're going to so go with the basic one, though. We are going to go with the basic one and with also the basic time traveler, which there are many. Uh, if you want to look away right now because there will be spoilers about uh, special characters, you can do so. But there are many characters to choose from, each with their unique own unique ability that affects the gameplay to some extent, right? So, okay, you can, you can look back. This is our default squad. We're going to go in and I want Joe to get wrecked. We're on playing on normal, which if you've played FTL on normal, it's very difficult. It's extremely difficult. So the first choice you're going to have to make here is where do you want to start? You can start at any island, and the difficulty of the game will always scale appropriately. So you can start here, and this will be the easiest island, and they'll just get harder. All right. So now, you want to choose where to go, right? So you have a bunch of options, uh, and more will be unlocked as you unlock the adjacent squares or tiles or whatever. So we have a lot more to choose from than we did last time. Mm. Why do we have more? We have... We have the same amount of things to choose from. Oh, corporate HQ is just in a different spot maybe than last mm -hmm. time? This is randomly this generated. This might be, then. yeah, this might be randomly generated. Okay. Yeah. So we did the heap last time. Um, Let's just do the heap again. Okay. I didn't realize that's what we did last time. Yeah, I think I think there you we go. did the heap last time. So yeah, so each of those uh, tiles is going to be a different bonus objective. The goal is to kill four enemies inflicted with acid. Acid is a debuff, which causes the character to take double damage. Wow, that's amazing that you knew that. I just somehow guessed. Okay, so the beginning of the battle, we have to place our units. And in this battle, we get a special unit, I believe. Where mm -hmm. is he? Oh, he's, there he is. Uh, he's hiding down there, actually. This particular tank, named Acid Tank, inflicts acid on the enemies when it hits them with an attack. Tell me more. That's all I really know about the game. Oh, it's okay. going to be explaining most of the rest of the game. All so right. this guy, he is a close-range guy. So we're going to probably want to put him in the front line. This is a mortar, right? That is the straight shot, push one guy back. Right. There you go. And then this is the mortar. Right. So we'll put this guy back as well, right. and we will confirm. So you saw all those mechs on the uh, the title screen there? Yeah. Every single mech has a unique ability, slash attack, slash set of attributes, like health and how much you can move. And that's new. That's a time pod. So the story of this game is that you are time traveling to kill these Vec, which are these uh, these alien insect creatures, right? And occasionally you will get time pods from other timelines of other mechs who have failed this mission. Holy God. So they send this, this time pod to you and it has some stuff in it. So you probably want to collect that at some point. If an enemy walks on it, it's destroyed and you lose it. So how do we collect it? We just click on it? You, well, you just one walk of our characters. on it. Oh, we just have to walk a character onto it. Well, that's perfect because or, we can just walk this punchy yeah. guy onto it and punch this bug. Exactly. All right, so why don't you go ahead and do that? There we go. Yep. Safe and sound. Pod secured. All right. Excellent. So, and then we click on this, or we press one. Yes. This is the punching ability. We right. Punch this guy. Right. 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 So since you're the the melee character, he takes um, one damage and mm -hmm. is knocked back by one. There's a lot of knockback effects in this game. Most. Yeah. Most of this game revolves around pushing or pulling objects. Explain the uh, these holes. Oh yeah. Emergent. Emergent holes. So you'll notice that up in the upper right corner, we have victory in four turns, right? So in four turns from now, you're going to win no matter what, even if you don't get the bonus objective. But if, uh, say, next turn, where those red arrows are, that means an enemy is going to spawn there. And there's nothing you can do about it, except unless you have something standing on there, like yourself or an enemy, in which case that enemy will not spawn. So I'm standing there with this guy right now. You are, and that's a good choice. And we're just going to shoot this guy. And uh, can we shoot a bonus? I wonder did we what shoot that him? We didn't shoot him. You uh, click on your guy. You did not shoot. Mm -mm. So why don't you go ahead and do that? Why isn't it shooting him? Oh, you, I know why. I know why. So this is a... Um, this is your long range guy, right? Yeah. 
click on just click click where you are right now on attack mm -hmm. you cannot shoot directly oh you in front can't of you. shoot directly in front of you mm -mm. oh gosh so what you can do is you can undo your move how would we uh, go up that? here to undo move in the upper left and you can find a better position to move him back to attack him from or you can attack somebody else or do something different it's totally up to you he can't attack from here though can he attack here he could but you can see what's going to happen here is you're going to kill the enemy but your acid tank is going to be it's going to push shot back into the building pushed back into these buildings which we want to protect if right. he, if the acid tank gets pushed back into them they're going to be damaged which right. we don't want to happen right so those those buildings that have the lightning icon that is your basically your health which in the upper left corner there is your power grid and if you lose your power grid it's game over so you have pretty much total control over how you win or lose the game i have an idea so, okay go for it i want to see it Move here. Actually, that didn't really matter. I'm gonna do this though. Push that guy back yeah. into the mountain. There. Oh, the mountain takes damage. I didn't mm -hmm. notice that before. Mountains okay, take damage. Cool. Yep. Uh, this guy has not had his turn yet. This guy just shoots straight though, and he pushes one tile back. He pushes the enemy one tile back. Can I shoot through my own guys? You cannot. Oh, I cannot. Oh. Cannot. Yeah. I think the highest praise I can give this game is that. For the mechanics, that did nothing. <laughs> that absolutely did nothing. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know what you're living you expecting. I, I was expecting. I was. I was hoping I could attack a specific tile and oh, push this I guy see. back. That didn't no. happen though. Um. Oh, I was gonna say before you end your turn. Well, I just yeah. ended my turn. Shit. Once, once every combat, you have the ability to reset the turn. So if something happens that is unexpected, which for me happens all the time because I don't plan very well. We had an emergent hole. Look at all these enemies. Yep. And this I is on. Gonna lose. This is on normal, by the way. I have beaten the game mostly on easy. And only a couple times on normal because uh, subset games are known for making their games extremely hard but challenging and rewarding. So, you have four mechs now to deal with. And remember, your objective is to kill enemies inflicted with acid. Right. Well, we got one guy inflicted with acid. You do. So you can. When this, when we generated this level in the last in our our failed uh, attempt at recording this episode, we had some acid pits that we could have knocked the enemies into right. randomly generated. But it appears that this version of the heap level that we generated here does not have any acid pits. So that's going to make our infliction of these enemies with acid much harder, I think. So that means every turn you pretty much have to shoot somebody. Yeah, you only we've have... got to use this guy. Yeah. We've you got to use this um, guy. You have two more turns? Wait, three, three but turns. But this mortar guy, if we launch right here... You know what's going to happen? It'll hurt this guy. Well, but it'll be really great. So you'll lose your all tank, these guys. and your tank only has one hit point, so he'll be dead. So you won't. Well, let's just move this guy out of the way first. Sounds good. Yeah, do it. We could move him. Well, not here. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, you can you have to move first. You right. cannot attack and then move. Right. You can move and then attack, but not the opposite. So we really don't have anything to do besides move this guy to safety. What you could do. Is you could just move him one square to the left, to the to the down left. Yeah. And you could shoot right across at that guy. Oh, it shoots in a straight line. It does. All right, so there we go. Now we got another there guy affected go. with poison. We've got this guy. We can use his mortar ability. Uh oh. But that'll knock it into himself. So we should move him first. Mm hmm. See, you're getting the hang of this. This is really exciting. And then. Yeah. We'll knock these guys back. There you go. Dealing damage to them as they are. Uh, it doesn't deal damage with acid. Oh, it doesn't deal damage. Does it? Wait, wait. Click on your guy again. Click on your right. dude. Fair and enough. Uh, hover over there. It does one damage. It damages a single tile and pushes adjacent tiles. Oh, so it just pushed them out of the way. You did no damage, but weren't they all about to attack buildings? Correct. Just as good. So it's they're just as good. Yeah, they're they're not putting anything in jeopardy currently. So we're good. That's amazing. That's actually a uh, good strategy. By the so way. So this guy looks like he's webbed. He is. So you cannot move. He can't move at all. Until the thing that's doing the webbing is destroyed or your... Which one's doing the webbing? That this guy? guy? Mm-hmm. So you have a couple how do, options. How do we know that he's doing the webbing? Uh, actually, this is a this is a bad... One of those rare bad angles, but if you move your mouse out of the way a little bit, you can kind of see the, the webbing start to come oh, out Oh, it's of coming guy. from that guy. Yeah, yeah, I can see. Yeah, yeah that's clear enough. Um, yeah, I really gotta... So we should probably kill the guy that's webbing us. Yeah. Uh, there's one other thing that I want you to be aware of in this case. If you click on this, this strange white guy, white octopus with the mm -hmm. tentacles, and you hover over their icon down here, it tells you everything about them. Everything I've ever um, wanted to know about a shell scion. And then, <laughs> this enemy you'll see palette swaps of throughout the game. They always have a certain passive effect, which is different for each variety. All other VEC have incoming weapon damage reduced by one. So generally you want to get rid That's of these guys. all on the board? Everything on the board? 
all enemies on the board. So generally, you want to get rid of the, those guys as fast as well, possible. Well, that's yeah, that's a very high bonus, I can guess. So if we punch him, though, he's going to get knocked into this. He is, but oh, I wish you could move. Actually, you know what? You have a way out of this. Okay, let's you just do hear. a way to this. Okay, so take your other guy, your tank guy, not that guy, not the mortar guy, that tank guy. Um, so you have to get your mech out of webbing, your your brute mech. So why don't you shoot the guy that's next to you to your this up, guy to your oh upright. this guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, you know what? Then we can move because we won't be webbed anymore. Oh, you can move. Yeah, but I don't know if you'll be able to kill this guy this turn. But let's try. Okay, yeah, do that. So now you're free, right? Correct. So your next step is to try to kill this uh, octopus-looking guy. But how can we do it without knocking it into there? Uh, try going below to the enemy that's below him, right there. And you can try punching that guy and see what happens. So oh, I wanted to show you the, the indicator. Oh, it did damage. Okay, right. and if something lands on this, they mm -hmm. gain acid as well. So if we can push an enemy onto this, or if we stand on it, we're going to be afflicted with acid. Right. So the, Yeah, so the idea is... If you push things or pull things and they collide with anything else, that anything else will take some sort of collateral damage. Right. So I think we're done with this turn, right? You are, yeah. All right, we're going to see mm -hmm. what they do. So you actually successfully blocked everything. You blocked all the damage that they were going to do. Oh, good and job. look, 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 look. Boom. Boom. They killed each other. So maybe you can sort of get an idea of the you can nuance. make them you can make them attack each other you can make by them by pushing them into a position where they'll be attacking their friends there are certain squads that are dedicated just to that holy god holy god so you can sort of understand hopefully some of the nuance that comes with positioning and getting it getting certain situations he's webbed one of our stations he sure has i'm not a big fan of that and he's going to do probably i assume one damage well to we could it. push him out of the way with this guy Ooh, this guy here mm -hmm. oh this, this is a good idea is. great idea there. Perfect. Neutralized. Perfect. We can use this guy to just punch this guy out. You should. Which we want to do. So yeah, it's 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 tough because you only have three actions per so turn. He's dead. The the buff is gone. What's mm -hmm. this? Is this just a that's, marker for where he died? That's where the time pod was. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, that's right. That that time pod that right. we saw at the beginning of the match here. Don't forget your bonus objective here. We have to acid the guys. Well, we could just acid this guy. Sure could. There he goes. So He's acided. He acid, acided. Acided? He's acided. Uh, this guy's already gone. We could do this and then just shoot this guy. Seems fine. That sounds good to me. Alright. That was an acided guy and now he's dead. And now he's dead. So your turn is that's, over. That's it, yeah. So you have one more turn now. This is your last chance to do anything. Did we kill enough acided guys, though? Uh, we killed two out of four. So we need to kill two acided guys this turn. Right. Oh, which luckily you can do <laughs> just <laughs> because of that last guy. Yeah, that seems, wow. that seems great. So if we just punch this guy, it'll get knocked into this guy, right? Uh, That'll work. So I'll show you. So click on punch, but don't, don't commit to the attack, and then okay. hover over that guy. That shows you exactly what happens. They're both going to die. They're both going to die. Go for it. This is a great move. They take double damage because they're acided. That's amazing. I don't it know how you did that. Yeah, that, um, you know. I'm impressed. I thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> are we accomplish? Are we accomplishing this mission though? The basic mission. Are we gonna win? The basic mission is to survive. So yeah. I oh. Mean, victory is just surviving for five turns. Everything else is bonus. You know. The bonus objective is obviously not required. So we're gonna win. We are gonna win. Oh, this is only shoot straight. Hang right. On, let's undo that. Unless you want to shoot those buildings. So we'll do this, and we'll just shoot this guy. Excellent. And this does damage to the adjacent areas, but not to the area it hits, right? Well, we hurt one of our own guys, but that's fine. And this doesn't really matter. All we do is inflict this with acid, but not do damage. Double so it doesn't acid. matter, but do... Yeah, we, we, we accomplished the extra objective, and we survived. Yeah. So you win, That's man. it. We win. We don't you really have to do much else. That's flying colors. You took almost no damage, and you killed almost everything. Incredible. I am I am impressed. I, I wasn't really um, strategizing too much. I was kind of just randomly deciding on attacks. That's okay. And, and, you know, Ed gave me a little bit of help, so... It'll get a lot harder, I promise. Oh, good. So, okay, so you got that time pod. So let's see what's in there. Yeah, let's do it. Generally, you can get a new pilot or a new weapon, in this case. Holy crap. So if you want... Reactor cores. So all, the we all new weapons need reactor cores to be powered. 
and you got a new weapon and a new reactor core. So you can just hit continue down there. All right. And oh, let me let me just show you this. By okay, the way, yeah, go ahead. This is easier to, to explain. So we have our, our squad over here. Each of them gains experience, right? So out of 25 experience, and they all have a certain amount of perks that they will learn once they level up, right? But over here you can see they have energy requirements for all these various power-ups, right? So we have the this this weapon that you just got, uh, which this class cannot equip unless it uses one additional power. This is actually very similar to the FTL system. Uh, of powering powering different sections of your ship, but here it's just different sections of your mech. So, for example, uh, actually, you don't have a class that can use this, but uh, you do have one reactor. So that was core. a worthless prize. Well, no, because you can still use it, but it costs twice as much to use. Oh, if you really are dying to use it, but see, you have one reactor core up here. You can upgrade any of your mechs however you want. So, for example, you can give this one plus two health because this only costs one reactor core, or you can give it plus one move because that only costs one. So if one of our characters dies, do we just not have them for the rest of the run? Right. It's as if oh, wow. that happened, mm. and you still have the weapon, and you still have the mech, but you don't have any of the bonuses here. So it's not that bad, actually. You just don't get any of these bonuses. So you don't get, well, nothing there, but you won't get bonus XP per kill, and some of these are like bonus defense to the grid, or extra move, or extra health. So you generally want pilots, you know? So you actually, you have one reactor core now, you might you might want to spend that before you go into another fight. You can give one of your mechs extra health. Let's do it. Oh, you, you just go over here to the side and you click on the one that you want to you want to upgrade. I generally go for the attack upgrades first. How do we do that? Uh so you can only give this guy health or move. Is that what you want to do? You can't give him dash because that requires two. We only have one. Oh, I see. We can give... Um, what you can give is make buildings immune to your damage from this character. Okay, that sounds good. Requires one power. Right, so uh, click, click install, the install there. Yep, there you go. There you go. Okay, so we fill this bar up here. Right. The reactor, so this will give us our energy or our, our resource in order to upgrade these things over here. So eventually he'll be With decked these, out. Yeah, all that these stuff. little ovals here. So we exactly. can add damage to him or we can make buildings immune or we can increase his health or his move by upgrading him. This is basically his level points, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. So I know that was a right. really long-winded experience or not explanation, but I just wanted to get that point across. So yeah, now it's up to you. Wherever you want to go, man. Defend the train or... Protect the power generator. Let's do per defend the train. All Let right, me defend the train. I also love that you can see like a little miniature version of it before it starts. Oh, yeah, you can see the what the map is going to look yeah. like here. So also, we have to defend this train. So we should probably put our uh, tank guy, our punchy guy, yeah. right next to the train. Mm -hmm. And then these probably it doesn't really matter too much. I don't think. I'm going to just set up around the area. Mm -hmm. Good enough. I think I'm, I think we mentioned this already, but you generally have each squad is is a uh, like a melee guy and a close range guy and a long range guy, right? So, so it's okay to send your last two guys pretty much anywhere on the map, like as far away as you can get, so they don't take damage. Okay, so, so this guy's threatened, but we just gotta move. We just we just move him. You just move <laughs> him. He's yeah. not threatened. It's really that easy. It's just that easy. This guy needs to die though quickly. This guy I'm not really liking too much right that now. That guy will not never attack, actually. He never attacks, but he gives you a passive bonus. He gives, bonus. A, he gives right. a passive bonus to the so, enemies. Unfortunately, right. we would like to be standing on one of these, but we can't really do that, can we? With any of our characters besides this guy, but we need to get this guy right behind, right next to a, this enemy. You are right. So let's do that. So it's, yeah, it's... And give him a punch. There you go. Good choice. It's a tough choice, man, to decide... To, to either kill the enemies or put them on those uh, spawning tiles. So this only, if we do this attack, it only does damage to the adjacent tiles, right? Not to the actual tile you target. Uh, you, that's the other character. This character that you have equipped right now, this guy? Hey, this is the straight shooting right, guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's actually a little confusing because this is the only squad that is kind of confusing between these two characters. I always get them mixed up. But uh, this guy will just shoot in a straight line. Uh, but it doesn't matter because he was just gonna shoot shoot at you, but you just moved, and now you're gonna take damage again. <laughs> move this over here. Yeah, yeah. And then this one we can attack here. It won't damage the buildings, right? Because we upgraded them. But yeah, but what is he attacking right now? If you right uh, right click to get out of that, what is he? Oh, he's just attacking this tile. This guy, right? We yeah. want to attack so this guy. You don't have to. He's actually not that high on your priority list because he's not gonna do anything. He's just gonna attack empty air. Right. Right. So what about you, this guy? Well. 
What is he attacking? That little beetle? He's attacking your your uh, your mortar guy over there. Right? Oh, yes. So, so you can... pushed him one space back, and then you moved one space forward. We can just kill him. There you go. <laughs> okay. Turn over. There you go. Good job. So most of these missions, you have the oh, chance... Oh, the train moves one space per turn. Right, exactly. Okay, makes sense. So oh, this, so they're, they're yep, really this trying is to attack this train. Oh, one other really, really important thing, which is probably one of the most important things in the game. Anything that is not flying, for example, if you click on any of the enemies and they are flying, it'll say flying, right? Right. But you can guess that these little insects down here in the bottom left corner are not flying. They get killed when they touch water. Yeah, I was just going to say, I was actually just going to mention that. Can we can we push this guy into the water? Instant death. Which uh, I think we can do that by doing this. Yes. <laughs> Genius. Yeah. That is one of the most satisfying plays you'll make in this game. So that's, uh, yeah, it's similar to Oro, a monster bumping adventure, mm -hmm. which is a game we've played on games a pretty long time ago, but I really enjoyed that game. I've actually played it a decent amount after we played it on the show on a Wild Game Appears episode. So check that one out. If you like this, you might like Oro, a monster bumping adventure. Uh, what else? Okay, what can we do? We can push this guy onto here so that nothing new spawns. Uh, seems like a decent He's plan. about to die, though. I think he only has one hit point. Right. So. Oh, this guy's going to die anyway. So what you could do is you can move around him onto that spot and then just punch him the other way. Not there. <laughs> oh, you here? actually can't move there. No, you I don't have enough get on that spot. Yeah, I don't have enough move. So I just punch this guy. Yeah, just go for punch it. Him just punch him out. Just punch him out. Like it's a uh, punch out. Oh, but if he dies on that space, he doesn't block it. No. Okay. Who hasn't moved yet? This guy. We can put this guy on top of here at least. Or we can put him here and attack this guy. Oh, uh, but that will destroy the train. Because he's going to get bumped into it. Oh, right. So if we move him here, can we shoot through? Our, we can't shoot through our friendly guy, though. You can't shoot through. How many How many hit points does this, this bug have? Two. Oh, that's bad. I'll just move him onto here. We'll just have to chill. All right. If you want to, you can reset the turn and do it again so that... End turn. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back. All right, all right. What's up, man? Uh, oh, Christ. Is the train going to get destroyed? The train is going to get destroyed because the train always acts last. Um, and, for, and just so you know, if you hover over attack order in the top right corner... Uh, right, right here. Oh, there it is. It shows you the exact order in which things happen. So the first thing that happens is enemies one and or one attack and then two the train will move forward and then three these guys will come out of the ground so you can mm. be sure that that train is going to get destroyed so if you want to reset your turn we'll, now is your we'll only, lose the match then we will learn we will, we will lose the train so you will not get any stars but at least you'll survive so i don't know if you want to reset this turn and try it again up to you let's keep moving along all right let's go for it but it's not all bad, because you can still recover part of the train. So you lost one star, you can still you can still regain the other one by just defending what's left of the train. And this is your last turn anyway, so that should be pretty easy. Well, we can punch this guy into the water. You can punch his legs out, but he's not your biggest threat, right? Your biggest threat is enemies that are attacking buildings or trains. Well, nothing's attacking a train right now. Nothing's attacking a train. This topic is now about trains. <laughs> this thread, what was that? What was the line? This topic yeah, sucks this, and is now about trains. This topic sucks and is now about trains. Yeah. So your biggest I don't know if that was an internet meme. I think so. I don't know. So your biggest threat here, obviously, is these two guys shooting this building. Uh, you can do some pretty nifty math here, or nifty footwork, okay. by attacking the guy next to you. This guy? Oh, no, no, no. no. I was going to say where you just were. So if you punch that guy, he's going to get bumped into the guy behind him. But then we're going to hurt our own guy, right? Oh no, it, break, mm -hmm. it broke off the... Mm -hmm. Oh, because he was the one webbing him. Right. So enemies right. only get bumped one space, right? So if you, you oh, hit yeah, the I guy have, next to you... I have a good plan here. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Alright, that works. That's perfect. Right, so it's not like enemies will get pushed in an, in an well, infinite that didn't line. Do anything. No. All That's right. okay, though. You, uh, you did pretty good, man. You did pretty good. Well, we've won. We survived. That was the only real... That's really the only mission. Yeah, but if you only just survive, you're never going to make it to the end because the game gets hard. Oh, I see. So we didn't get all of our... One out of two. We didn't get all of our objectives, so we did not get rewarded. Well, you got one star out of two. But yeah, yeah, yeah. And every star counts, so it's good that you just got that one. Oh, so you leveled up. All right, so you got plus two HP. 
and you have no reactor cores, but now you have five health instead of three. Okay, so should we just do the wasteland next? Defend the disposal unit. Sure. Oh, this is the fun one. Yeah, I like this Destroy one Destroy all mountains. Look at all those mountains. Mm -hmm. so Are you normal. sure we can handle this? This one's fun and easy. Yep. It's you, easy? Yep. It looks incredibly difficult. So, uh, you can destroy everything on the map, which is basically just mountains, right? Right. Uh, don't worry about placing your guys. Just place them anywhere you want. This has nothing to do with mountains. Don't worry about the mountains. I will. There is a secret. Not really a secret. It's just part of the level. So, you see that disposal unit up there around the mountain? Right. You control that. Okay. And as soon as you get your turn and click on that, you will understand. All right. I'll click on it. Acid launcher. Dissolves all tar target tiles with acid. So, you can dissolve those mountains or kill everything. hi -ya. <laughs> Well, that's pretty strong. <laughs> it is insanely strong. But you'll also kill those people in the buildings that you want to protect. Right. So, so let's just dissolve the mountains. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Maybe this corner because it's further away. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. There you go. They're just, they were just instantly dissolved, and now they're just a pit of, pit of acid. Piss of acid. Yeah, that's what I said. There you go. All right. So these guys are attacking buildings. I'm not really a big fan of that, mm -mm. sirs. As you should not be. How about we do this, and then we just attack this guy. Hiya. Nice. And what's this guy doing? Oh, he's launching an attack over here. What a jerk. Oh, you know what? Mm. Oh, but we can't get around here. Mm -mm. We can uh, move him here and just give this guy a punch. Give him a little punch. One, two, KO. Give him the old KO. Who hasn't had a turn yet? This guy. We can just push this guy onto this uh, spawner here. And we're done. Yeah. It's good enough. Oh, also, I'm starting to get the hang of, yeah. hang of this game. When they block enemies, they take damage. That goes for everybody, too. Hmm. So he's dead because he just blocked him. Oh, I see. And uh, you would do oh, the same. Oh, and the spawner still stays there, though. Oh, it stays there, huh? I actually it, don't know. Well, it did. I guess it does. I guess it does. It did do that. I blame you. <laughs> <laughs> so now... All right. Now you are home free. You pretty much have control of the board right now, so to speak. Well, we could. We should probably just acid these mountains down to complete yeah. that mission. Yeah. There's not really a whole lot of... What if we acid these spots, though? No, that wouldn't do anything. It wouldn't do I anything? I mean, they would emerge covered in acid, but... That's about it. All right, well, we'll just do that, then. Actually, we could have hit this spot. What if we... Can we undo that? Oh, you can reset turn if you want to reset your turn. All right, but you can, but only, you can only do it once per battle, though. Right. No, right. So that was might have been a waste, but... If we attack... No, but then we missed this mountain. So actually, that was the move I wanted to do. <laughs> Wait, you can acid yourself. I didn't realize that. You can acid the disposal unit itself, which you would not do. No, I, why would I do that? But you could if you really wanted to. All right, so this guy can punch this guy out of the way, I guess. We have sure. pretty good control here, so I can kind of... It feels like I can pretty much do whatever I want. Yeah. That's basically the flow of the game. Like, you go from periods of having absolute control to being totally overwhelmed. Uh, I guess we'll just stand on top of this. Will he take a damage though? He will. Oh. He will. But well, it's probably worth it. Yeah, yeah. And also, you can repair. By the way, instead of attacking, see that little wrench down there? Oh, I see. You can heal one damage per turn, if you need to. Which usually you don't. Did we miss something? Oh, we uh, can he didn't we attack. Can, he didn't attack, so we can but, wrench. Yeah. There oh, you can go. you wrench any target? No, you can only wrench yourself. Oh, okay. <laughs> just <laughs> like real yourself. life. Yeah. Go rent yourself. That's really what's so exciting about the game, is that you go from periods of complete dominance just being wrecked at a matter of turns, you know? Oh no, he's going to attack our aciding spot, he... but we don't really care. But you know what? You still have control of that disposal unit. So if you can think of a good place to shoot that acid... Correct. To take ...to drop that acid... Think of a good place to drop acid, dude. Leave it in the comments. What's a good place Maybe to drop acid? Here. here would probably be a decent spot. I wouldn't say that was a bad spot. All right, we'll poison... Oh, no, we'll only poison actually one man. Mm. But if we punch this guy to here, we could poison multiple men. And we have to move our friend out of the way, but... One of those men is you, man. Is you. Correct. But right. We're yeah, just going to move right. this man out of the way. You are right. Can we also get an attack in with this guy? If we move him... That's a good place. Because then you can knock that beetle out of the way that's about to attack. Oh, he's actually about to attack this building. 
Yeah, so but, we should, uh, just, let's just knock him out of the there way. There you go. Kill four units inflicted with acid. I'm just kidding. But actually, we can't hit two targets with this. You cannot. What we do. Well, we can acid this uh, spawn spot. That's fine. That's a good choice. So it'll come out attacked at, uh, with uh, acid de debuff on them. All right, good enough. So the only threat here is that beetle in the corner that's about to attack a building. Right. So we better move this guy here and give him a punch. Give me the old one-two. And this guy, he's not doing anything. He's nothing. He's going to miss. He's nothing. We'll just uh, make him be humiliated while he misses as well. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a squid. How many turns? Victory in two turns. Victory one turn. in one turn. This is our last this turn. Is our last turn. We just let's just kill these guys. Definitely. I'm gonna give this guy a punch. So your power grid level right now is two. So if two more buildings get destroyed, it's game over. So obviously the most I mean, in every case, pretty much, the most important thing is defending the grid. We did it. You oh, amazing. Amazing. There you go. And that's how you do that. That's how you do that part. I'm starting to get the hang of it. Yeah. Pretty good. There is there's a learning curve for each of the different squads, but once you get in in the flow of things, oh, it is incredibly fun. The melee guy, the straight shot guy, and mm -hmm. the mortar guy. This one doesn't seem too complicated. So uh, yeah. I, I'm glad we started with this one, I think, though. Yeah, it's all pretty straightforward. Because these guys basically just push everything out of the way. So are we done on this island, or do we have to clear everything? So you always complete every tile minus three. I'm sure it's. I'm sure it's like. Okay, four. so we can do any of these that are left over now, right? right? But this will always be your last one, right? So whichever um, one you want to do. Chemical field A, block Vec spawning three times. Kill at least seven enemies and protect the coal plant teleport facility. That sounds more interesting. Conveyor belts. That sounds interesting as well. We should probably show something a little more interesting. Maybe we'll do a teleport. Yeah, that's a good Let's one. Let's do the teleport one. Wait, wait. Teleport facility. All right. Kill sure. at least seven enemies and protect the coal plant. I assume this is the coal plant. There are no teleporters in this level. I don't know why, but there are not. <laughs> okay. There well, are supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was why I picked it, so we yeah. can show something interesting. But. Yeah. So ac there are actually teleport pads in some levels, which do exactly what you think they would do. But they aren't in this level for some reason. But all right. All right. Well, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Hey, where are you going, man? <laughs> Come back, dude. Did you see that guy? He jumped out of the acid. What a jerk. All right, we can move on top of here to block this, but this is web now. It is. How bad is that? Oh, we could push him by launching something here with this guy, maybe. Launching this. Push the, or just kill this guy. We can just kill this guy. It's probably easier just to guy. kill him. Yeah, he's only got one hit point. Right, we're going to move this guy here, though. We're going to give this guy a punch. Give him a hi -ya. The old one, too, as it were. Uh, we can just launch from here. Can we not? And kill this guy? Because he's about yeah. to attack. Should we do that? Right, we'll do that. Uh, well, what are your other options here? Uh, we oh, can do this. Oh, no, we no, can no, kill no, this no, guy. No, 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 no. No, kill this guy. Push him into the acid. No, 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 this. Right. this is going to get attacked. It sure is. But how bad is that? It's not uh, that bad. You'll lose 50% of your current hit points. So, yes, very bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when you only have two grid left or one grid left, things get tense. You have to deal with threats in a very specific order. Well, this is attacking here, this is attacking here, and this is... Is this guy attacking? He is. That's only three enemies, right? So you have three mechs, you should be able to kill three enemies, and that guy... Yeah, this guy's not really that much he's, of a threat. He's not even attacking. He's not doing a damn thing. Alright. Right? So, prior, you know, priorities, that's all. That's pretty much all the game is. It's un it's fascinating how entertaining it is and how addicting that is, you know? There you go. Beautiful acid drop there. Joe just dropped acid right in the studio. It was beautiful. So, oh, if we attack here, will this damage this spot, though? It won't. Wait, he's attacking in that direction anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> 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 uh, I knocked him into a spot. That is, so yeah, that was a that was a poor poor choice of move. Uh, One hundred casualties. I cannot tell you how many times that I've done that. It's okay. <laughs> it happens to everyone. Well, look, we're getting wrecked here. Look at all these enemies now. Right? This is your fault. Right? You were dominating a second ago. Right? Well. So again, 
We should punch this guy here. Yeah, good choice. We definitely need to get rid of that guy. He's a real jerk. Okay, so wh where are the attacks? This is attacking here. This is attacking here. Mm -hmm. If we can push these guy, Oh, this guy's going to attack anyway, though. What if we do this? No, this guy won't die, though, and he'll still attack this, and we'll lose the game entirely. How many hit points does this beetle have? Oh, two. Oh, you're screwed. Yeah, we're screwed. We're basically uh, just completely screwed here. Let me, s let me think real quick. This is one of those games where every turn you sit back for about two or three minutes and you just think about the board. Well, so... What you could do... Oh, okay, okay. What you could do is... Oh, shit. So this guy, this guy, he damages the tile that you shoot at, right? But pushes everything else around him. I was going to say you could attack the buildings. Wait, 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 wait. Um, try shooting, don't actually do it, but hover over this when you're prepping your weapon, right? So click on your weapon, then hover over there. I'll hover over here instead. Zero. Oh, because you have the building's immune property, right? On your, yeah, on your weapon. Yeah, we have that. So check this out. Uh, can you move one space to the left? Okay. You can. You can do that. Shoot shoot that building that everything's clustered around. All right. Oh, this guy's attacking in this direction, so he'll miss. This guy will still he'll hit still this. still hit, but you moved one of the guys out of the way. What about this guy? Can we move him with this? What you could do is... I might. You might still be dead. I don't know. I didn't think that far ahead. That's only going to do one damage. And it's going to push him right into the path of another building. Hmm, I think we're dead here. I think we're dead. I think we are. Uh, oh, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's game. All right. I guess we lose then, right? Do we lose the entire game? We do lose the entire game. Well, I blame Ed for this. Yeah, I tried. I tried. It is... It has a learning curve. Each squad has a learning curve, but... Oh yeah, so one of your one of your uh, pilots you can carry over. So these are just no-name pilots. The last two, this first one. Oh, let's let's pick the non the ones with guy. the unique names. So if you want, you could. So that was a run. That was we a run. lost. We lost. Mm -hmm. Here's what I think we should do. Yeah, I think you should do a run now. All right, and show us how it's done. Because we've learned how to play the game, we kind of understand the mechanics. All Joe right. has asked all the burning questions, so let's see uh, if Ed is really as good as he says. <laughs> so here's the thing, I usually play on easy because I'm a little baby, but I will try it on normal. Uh, and, oh sorry, if you don't want to be spoiled, you can look away right now. Actually, you should turn off the video right now because I'm probably going to be using a different squad. Just use a different squad. I don't think anyone uh, cares too much if no. they see ahead of which, what kind of squads they can unlock. So these are all amazing because they all do different things. This squad has a guy that jumps over things, like that. It's really cool. This is just another a rocket man, North Korean's leader, rocket man. Uh, and your utility doesn't do anything except for push things away, right? That one's okay. Oh, it's so hard to choose. Also, you can just completely customize your squad to anything you want. Oh, wow. Which is like you can have three hook mechs that don't do any damage, but just pull things towards them, which is ridiculous. That's, that's not a good idea that to use three of those. dumbest thing, but somebody did it. I saw a Reddit post. Somebody managed to beat the game like that. So my latest run was with this. Let's go with... You know what? No, no, no. We're going to go with this one. See, so yeah, they're all themed around different things, like lightning, fire... Blitzkrieg. Rust. Blitzkrieg. <laughs> uh, acid, right? Yeah. Um, so this this mech has a unique property where it chains damage through through anything that's adjacent, right? So the, the plus one, plus one, and oh, taunt. Oh, yeah. That's the into the breach. That guy, anything that's adjacent gets uh, damaged. That sounds great. Anything, including Just chain lightning. It, it is exactly chain lightning. So uh, let's... I think my favorite pilot is this one because you cannot be webbed. So remember when you got webbed earlier by those... those. I hate being webbed. I, I, who doesn't, right? It's a thing. It's just a thing that happens. Uh, I always start on the regular old island. I'll just start here. I'll start in the desert area. Okay. Let's see so a desert. Let's go for it. It's a desert island. 
All right, so do not kill the Volatile Vec or take less than three grid damage. I usually take, I usually avoid do not kill because I love killing. So we're gonna try this one. Uh, and for placement, uh, I just I just haphazardly place my guys on the board most of the time. Great strat. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is some strategy to it, but it's tough. It's tough. I mean, I think the AI in this game is really quite good. It most of the time does something... Well, that, it crushed us. It Yeah, it usually does stuff that you do not want it to do. However, check this out. Check this out. Okay. Right? This this is a uh, hook mech. Right, Dylan. <laughs> what? <laughs> His name is Dylan. Dylan. <laughs> Dylan. Dylan, good old Dylan. Remember what hook mechs do? They do this. They pull. Yeah. He, oh, he pulled a guy multiple squares. He's into so the dead. Water. He's double dead. Uh, and this one does a. Oh yeah. All other vec receive plus one HP. So we want to get rid of this guy ASAP. Uh, okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna chain lightning that passive boy. And it seems to only chain lightning unfriendly enemies. Or it, it only chain lightnings enemies, right? It will chain lightning. Everything. Oh, including your guys? How come you're getting get hurt? Uh, because this guy, you mean? Oh, was he, was, he diagonal? He was something? standing at a, a 90 degree angle. It's oh. only through things that are, like, in a row or in a series. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, and this guy, actually, so he can either throw a rock at an enemy, which the rock will disintegrate, or you can just place a rock. So if I were to place, <laughs> if I were to place a rock down here, it would block these guys from spawning. Seems good. It is pretty great. Oh, crap. <laughs> Oh crap! What seems uh, to be the he's gonna here? be in the way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna block his attack with our mech. Uh, oh, you know what? Sounded exciting. No, that's probably what we should do. So we're gonna block his attack. He's gonna do one damage. Oops. He's gonna do one damage to us, but we have two hit points. That's fine. Yeah, that's all you need. And we can't kill him, so we're just gonna have to see. Why what does happens. he have so many hit points? He has three hit points. He's just an insect. I know. He's just an insect. And the the gimmick with this uh, this stage is that parts of the stage will fall off. Randomly? Or are no, they marked? They're, they're marked. Oh, I see that they're marked with that mm -hmm. electricity yellow symbol. All right, well, great. And there are many such environmental dangers. So those are all going to fall off. So if we can knock an enemy onto that, they will... They will die they instantly. They will die, but they're going to die anyway because <laughs> it's water. <laughs> this is, this is I swear to God, it's the funnest thing in the game. I love that. Just yank them in there. Never. Oh, check this out. So we're going to... Deal two damage, and this guy's gonna get pushed. Pushed away, oh. so he does not attack one of our friendly units. Great, great move, man. You know what, though? Even better. Oh, even better. Chain lightning. Yeah, Chain lightning. That'll work. There you go. And then we'll just kill this guy. We will just kill him. Just, it's just that easy. It's just that easy. Right? Yeah, so sign up for our group, and you will receive tips in your email every month for strategies on this game. <laughs> every month. It's uh, $30 per month. Right. And um, just look at the description below, and you can sign up through PayPal. We accept many uh, cryptocurrencies and uh, credit cards. You can just give it, just email us your credit card number, gamesuplp at gmail.com, and you will join our group where we send you tips on how to beat runs of this game for only thirty dollars per month. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I want to knock this guy into the pit, but I cannot do it. Cannot do it. Oh, this is not great. This is not great. Oh, you know what? Mm, no, it's not great. If there's anything I could see you do right now, it would be to have Dylan knock an insect into a pit right now. I would love that more than anything. I don't think I can do it though. Oh, you know what? I can do it. I can do it. Oh, wait. Can I do it? No, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I tried. I tried so hard and got so far. Wait, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Take our rocket boy. Oh, I can't do it. You got my hopes up. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Wait, do I got it? No, I, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. So we're going to pull him one space forward, right? Mm hmm. Take our rocket boy. Damn it. Can't do it. I uh, I messed up. I messed up. Such is the nature of the game, so to speak. Hmm. Well, okay. I'll try it again. I'll I'll try again next turn. 
I will try. I will really try for Do you. Do our characters heal between battles? They, yes, they fully okay, heal. Okay, great. Yeah. So I couldn't knock that guy into a pit, but I'm really going to try my darndest to do it. I'm really going to try. It seems to destroy in a line. It seems like the, the areas that destroy, the spaces that destroy, are right next to previous spaces that have been destroyed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, think it's, I think it's random somewhat in the way that it, you know, kind of flows along the board. Yeah, but it, it's, it flows. That's right. That's kind of the, uh, right. what we were trying to say here. So, okay. So we have uh, four characters in a row here. So this chain lightning guy will attack all of them, including our guy. No, he's got three hit points, so just do it, man. That's fine. Plus, he's got that thick gray border around his health bar, which means he's armored. So hey, he takes nothing wrong with that. No, he takes one less damage from everything. Uh, oh, this is going to be juicy. Um, We're going to lose our own guy. You're going to kill one of our own mechs. Yeah, it does happen a lot, actually. Oh, well, then go ahead and do it, man. Sorry, mech. What else could we do? They're both webbing on him right now. They just shot their web all over him. <laughs> how d Joe, how dare you? Quit webbing on me. Oh, you know what? I think we're okay, because when he's armored, he takes one less damage from everything, including this enemy's attack. So he's actually, he's not going to take it's any damage. It's a zero, damage. though. Yeah, he's, gonna, he's not going to take any damage. Oh, okay. He's going to survive. Okay, it still says zero, but, you know, I'll just take your word for it. No, that's that's the amount of damage he's going to receive. Hmm. All right. So, zero. Hey, man, I'll take your word for Plus, it. Plus, we'll just heal. <laughs> Why is that funny? I don't know. <laughs> because you said, plus, we'll just heal. <laughs> okay, on top of everything. Doesn't matter. We win. Nothing was damaged. The Blitzkrieg saved us. Another message. Mission was complete. You did a great job. I don't know what you're complaining about. Well, you know. You protected a thousand civilians? I didn't see a single one of them, but they were apparently protected, so... I mean, they're in, those, they're in those slum buildings, you know? Defend the train. I hate defend the train. I didn't want to say anything earlier, but I hate defend the train. Okay, well then don't defend the train. We've already seen defend the train on this episode, so no need to show it again. No. So the best thing to do here is to randomly place your guys! Randomly place them? Yeah. I agree with that. With no attention to the board itself. And just see what happens. Okay, so they're attacking us. It's a great strategy. Okay. Sometimes that's the correct move, just to set up the board. Like, if you're playing Super Puzzle Fighter, uh -huh. one of the best strategies is just to flood the board with garbage. Like, your first maybe eight, eight pieces or so, you just want to drop on the left and right sides of your board. Yeah. So that you have some uh, pieces to play with. <laughs> Super Puzzle Fighter. It's my favorite uh, action puzzle game. Interesting. Pick Donovan. Donovan. Flood your board with... Yeah, roughly four pieces on either side, and then see what happens. Hmm. Hmm. Sometimes by randomly placing your enemy, your characters on the board, you end up in a in an undesirable situation, such as this one. And I know if you're watching this, you probably have spotted the solution already, because there almost always is one. And you're probably uh, furious, furiously typing about what that solution is. Alright, so here's what we'll do. We're gonna hook this dude. Hook him. So he doesn't attack the building. And we're just gonna go ahead and kill these guys. I mean, not kill them. I mean, damage them. Did I say kill? I meant damaged. There we go. Oh, one was killed. One by was a killed. rock. You What's the smoke cloud? What does this smoke cloud do? Oh, so smoke clouds, anything that's in a smoke cloud cannot attack. So if you're about to attack and you get pushed into a smoke cloud, your attack is cancelled. So I will show you. For example, we have our rock thrown boy. Movement of the uh, smoke. Smoke blocking. I can no longer attack. Well, why did you do that? Or repair. I'll just oh, for run. demonstration purposes. Right. I that's, see. that's exactly why. So we can see who's... Okay, so he's... Not only is he attacking a character and not a building, but he's not even going to do any damage. And why does he have a heart with a plus on it? Uh, because he's receiving a passive bonus from our... Oh, correct. The Squid Man. Hmm? Our Squid Man. So he needs to be demolished. And quickly. He does. So the best way to do that is probably with our Chain Lightning Boy. Seems yes. like a great move. You're going to kill two guys with one stone. One lightning. Right. You got it. And the last thing we want to do is avoid... This is the this is the coal plant. And he's about to attack it. So the last thing we want is to... Oh, shit. <laughs> That's bad. Oh, oh wait, no, no, we're good. We're good. Little hooky boy. Little hooky. 
playing some hooky. Hook him back. Pull him back. Get on over here. Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. We're all set. Oh, crap. Again, one of those games where you sit back, think for a couple minutes before you do anything. So all four of these enemies are attacking buildings, which is bad because that's that means really bad. One of our but characters we do have a lot of hit points. We do. Right. So one of our characters, at least one of our characters has to pull double dude either through killing two at once or just by blocking some of the damage. Uh, and the only damage we can block is right here. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so usually in a situation like this, I just kind of go for a strategy, and if it doesn't work, I just reset the turn. So, let's, let's just try that and see where it goes. So just start like pulling all these guys out of the way. Oh, you know what? No, that wouldn't work. That would not work. So you do kind of get yourself in some tough spots, right? Oh, that's quite bad. God damn it. Alright, we're going to pause. If you see the strategy, leave it in the comments. We'll be waiting. I want to push this guy down so I can attack both of them at once. But, I can't do that. We deal two damage with each hit. So, so, hmm. For example, if we were to go here, oh, we would lose our coal plant. Uh, if we go, well, that's the objective. We have to protect that. That is the objective. Oh, yeah. this is, uh, all right. Here's what I think we'll do. I think we will push this guy out of the way of the coal plant. All right. So we don't lose the coal plant because that's one of our two objectives, and it means we are going to take some damage here. But well, sometimes it's inevitable. It is. Uh, yeah, it is. So I didn't play that perfectly. We're going to take some damage, but that's okay. Eighty-seven casualties. Oh, I thought that was the last turn. Oh God. Oh god, I thought it was over. Alright. Oh, this is easy. Oh wait, no, no, no. So two of them are attacking me. Yeah, just move out of the way of the two that are attacking you and then just attack the other one that's launching the... I actually can't move. More... Oh, this guy can't move. I am completely blocked in. So what you're going to have to do is eliminate the guy to your right. I have an idea. Check this out. Yeah, now, pull him over there. Yeah, he's going to attack his own buddy. You dumb dumb. You dumb dumb. Uh, this guy is about to attack me, and I am actually webbed. So, oh crap, again. Alright. We will just try to kill one of these guys. Alright. Because we're, we're no longer in danger of losing buildings. I think we are safe. Oh. If only. So this is what would happen. We would, they would both take one damage, but nobody would die. I'm kind of feeling vindictive, though, so let's do it. There you go. So, so that's the end of the round there. That's the end of the yeah. That's it. Oh crap, I just lost. <laughs> oh no! Wait, what happened? You lost the guy? One of the last objectives was to complete the mission with less than four damage. And I just took two more damage, which put me over the line. Oh. So I just barely failed one because of Because you were vindictive. Yes. Okay. So that the was... lesson here is don't be vindictive. The lesson is, yes. Is don't be a jerk. Don't be a jerk. Alright. We're going to do this one. Protect the emergency batteries. By the way, I probably should have mentioned this before. The average run in this game, if you're slow and methodical, takes about an hour and 15 minutes. If you're going as quick as you can, about 45 minutes. I see. 
So, we don't have to do the entire thing, but I could play this game until the end of time, and... I yeah, wouldn't. so maybe we should cut it. We've been going almost an hour. So maybe Holy we should cut it pretty soon. Lord. Well, that, maybe. Was, <laughs> that was a lot of uh, spots to be destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And next turn, the exact same thing is going to oh, happen. Oh, is it going to just... It just goes along the line? Yeah, yeah. So if you can think of any interesting ways to kill these enemies, such as putting them in water or... Yeah, putting them over the edge there. Exactly, exactly. But this guy is flying. So he won't be destroyed. He will not be destroyed. So let's see. Is there a way... Uh, I'll just, I'd rather just jump in and <laughs> kill the... Uh, kill the squid. Our yeah. buff bonus boy over there. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, this is perfect. So we will save ourselves from being attacked. Move him out of the way. He will attack nothing. Great, great. We'll take our rock boy. Uh, he has two hit points, this enemy. So we will take our rock boy and we will dump a rock on yeah, him. And just kill him. He's wrecked. So we're, we're so far winning. So far winning. We're blocking two out of three enemies that are about to spawn. And also, if you stand the on The problem this... is we've got to move this guy down here at the bottom. We've got to get him out of here. Exactly. He's going to fall. He is about to die. He's about to die. Uh, all right. We'll move out of the way. And we're going to take another damage because we're standing on a tile. So we're going to heal. Sure. And there's only one enemy, so we only need one of our guys to deal with him. What we're going to do is... No. See, that's not enough damage. But... Move one space to the to the up left there. Yep, push him onto the spot that's gonna fall, what a and bitch. he's gonna die. What a little bitch! There we go, and that should take care of him. And this final turn, there are no enemy. Oh no, there's one enemy. Sometimes there are no enemies. If you uh, manage to block them all, you just spend the final turn doing nothing. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> Ed's um, quoting The Simpsons, a Ned Flanders line. Oh no, this is actually bad. We are gonna take some damage. Uh, oh, no, no, no. We're good. We're good. We are good. We're going to push him out of the way so he attacks nothing. What an idiot. What a fool. A fool of a took. Yeah, that was a quick one. Yeah, they, they get quick as you as you play more and more. It's an interesting one, but a quick sort of, one. Yeah, and, and every, every stage kind of has its own unique little gimmick. Uh, so we get one more before the, the final boss of this area. Oh, right, because we have to do all except for three. Right. So we can just try to do a quick one. Uh, all right, we'll do this one. Destroy two mountains and kill at least seven enemies. All right, I randomly place your men. Right, exactly. Seems I use fair. I usually cluster them. I don't know if... It, oh, we got a time pod. We got a Oh, Joe, we got a time pod. Jesus Christ. We got to get it. Here's another thing. If you push an enemy onto a time pod, the time pod is destroyed. Well, don't do that. You do not get it. Uh, however, our guys are clustered again, right? So, smash. Chain lightning? Chain lightning. Chain lightning. Oh, he's not even attacking. He's not even attacking. That'll work. There you go. Go ahead and grab that time pod. Okay, so one scorpion guy left over. There's a webbing taking place. There's a webbing happening here. Some fellas coming out of the ground. So about those mountains. About those mountains. You need to destroy two of them. So let's see, if we shoot here... Mm, it's not quite going to do it. We need to... You need to attack mountains twice in order to destroy them. So, maybe that's... Uh, You're going to damage your own guy, though, here. I sure will. I sure will. Joe. Alright. I think I'll just disregard my other guy entirely. Break one mountain. That's one out of two, right? Um, who's webbing me? This man? This mm -hmm. man is webbing me. So, let's, sure. let's kill this man. And, uh... Hmm... And we will hook this man 
onto the hooky book. That's what I call, uh... Oh yeah! There's also a chance for uh, building damage to be resisted. It's this number right up here, this 15%. There's oh, I see. So we had a 15% a roll there, mm -hmm. and we just happened to get it. Yep. So we got very, very lucky. Uh, this guy is stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that. How did he spawn there, then? What a jerk. I don't, he spawned where that mountain was before. How we did gotta he... destroy that mountain, though. Well, I guess now, now we definitely have to. Huh. Or we just kill him. Maybe do that. Wait, He's can buffing we... everyone. Oh, that's bad. We don't want to do that. No, that'll right. hurt you. Yeah, alright. We'll just kill him. We'll absorb this attack. I think, yeah, I think that's what we'll... Mm. You know what? Here's what we'll do. We're going to take this shooty boy, pull him over top of that... Oh. We don't want to do that. We need to kill two more enemies. We need to kill at least two more enemies. So we just want to make sure we kill these guys before we block any more from spawning, because if we don't have any more that spawn, we will not complete the objective. Alright, here's what we do. Pull this boy so that they're both... Both of these boys are in a line now. Oh, uh, we're gonna hurt ourselves. Hmm, well we won't lose the guy... Oh, mm -hmm. was he killed? No, he wasn't killed. He won't be killed, no. Okay. Uh, and it's, it's usually worth the risk, actually. Most of the time, if you... Oh, he's dead. He blocked an enemy and was killed. I forgot about that. I was gonna say, most of the time, if you can just tank an attack, it's usually worth it. It's usually preferable to, uh... Hmm. To having a building damaged. Hmm. So I need to kill two guys with two attacks. Which I can do, but I can't destroy a second mountain. Uh, I blame you, Joe. Let's destroy the second mountain over protecting the building. Alright, now that's fair enough. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and destroy that. That's not the right mountain. Let's go ahead and destroy this other mountain for no reason at all. Instead of focusing on a yeah, Why is that a mission? <laughs> go destroy a mountain. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we got orders from on high. Ignore the bugs. Destroy the mountains. Destroy the mountains. So we killed six out of seven enemies. We almost had it. And the differences between the difficulty settings, by the way, is that basically the only difference is the amount of enemies that spawn each turn. So we lost one guy. He is now dead, which means we no longer have a pilot for that mech. We might get another one. Yeah! We did. It was a guy. There was a guy in the pod. There was a guy in the pod. Well, that's lucky. Hey, welcome to the team, sir. You, you know what they say. Really opportune moment. You know what they say. You and I, Joe, were just like two guys in a pod. Yeah. So Dylan was killed. Um, which is unfortunate, but we have another guy to replace him right away. And our main, our melee mech, leveled up and got one free reactor point. So I think this is the best. This is the best upgrade for this character. Basically. Buildings act as continuations of the chain and do not take damage. So Sounds perfect. If you can get a bunch of enemies lined up in a row, then they will all get attacked. Alright, well, let's get them lined up. Let's do it. I think we'll just finish this last, uh, this is last it a fight. boss? It is, I mean, sort of. It's... Alright, well, it's, we'll see what happens. I'll show you. Ed'll show me. Ed'll show you. I will show... I'll everyone. Show, I'll show everyone. I'll show everyone. Let's quickly go with, um... Let's go with some move, because you generally want more move than anything. Most important thing is to be able to move around the, the board. So our goals are to destroy the Scion Abomination and protect the tower. The corporate tower. Corporate looks tower. like that big important on the, yeah. on the right side there. Yeah, yeah you're right. big important building. And there's our little Scion Abomination. So he gives all of the passive effects that these guys would give. So plus one HP, plus one hit point per turn, and they all explode when they die. That is quite bad. So he's the he's considered the mini, boss, the character. boss, yeah, the boss of this island. But he just still doesn't attack. So if we can just figure out a way to kill him, he's got a lot of hit points. Five. That's not that bad actually. Um, well, hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I'm trying to think of ways that we can hurt everybody because I just want to hurt everybody, you know. Yeah, some men just want to hurt everybody. What's the way that we can hurt everyone? 
Oh, I know a way we can hurt everybody. Okay, this is actually perfect. So we are gonna hurt our own guy, but we move them all up in a line, which is what we want. Oh, this is perfect. Well, that couldn't have worked out better. It could not have. Uh, hmm. If it could have worked out better, leave it in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're gonna pull one guy away from, oh, sh he's still attacking though, it right? It didn't help. Yeah. Do you know how many times you do that where you make a move and you're like, this is the smartest thing I've ever done. Yeah. And then it turns out that nothing has changed. Yeah, that hurts the most when you're playing a game or like an action game. Yep. And you can just see the enemy's attack coming. Like maybe it's a game where your attack has uh, a long ending animation and you're just left open for a long oh. time. And you can just see the enemy about to hit you and you, you know, you know you're going to get hit and you know there's nothing you can do about it. You know what that reminds me of to an unbelievable degree, Dark Souls? Because the cool, the, the windups and the cooldowns are so long, if something is about to attack you, you have an eternity to watch it happen. It is agonizing, you know? And it really feels like an eternity. If we could just harness that eternity to do something more productive than playing Dark Souls. <laughs> What's more productive than Dark Souls? Well, I can name at least 1,300 things. 1,300? Alright. Oh, that's bad. Right, we're gonna move our guy out of the way. We're gonna shoot a rocket at these boys. Right. We're gonna move our other boys out of the way. Uh, Alright, so actually, we're safe from attacks here. We are totally safe from all attacks. Great. Oh, wait, no, no, except for this one. Uh, that's okay. So yeah, this is the, the, every island has a final battle which more or less involves one enemy with a significant amount of hit points. A palette swap of an enemy that has a significant amount of hit points and does right. a bigger effect than the normal version of that enemy. Right. You might say. But by and large, this is, this, this final boss encounter is exactly the same as all the others you've already done. Uh, Alright, you know what we'll do? We will speed through this because there is one last thing I want to show you, which is when you get to the end of each island, you get some bonuses. We have been going on a very long time. Yeah, we've been on over an hour. I love this game, though. I cannot say enough good things about it. There is so much nuance to it, and you really get to appreciate the UI. The fact that this little bit of information and these few pixels manage to tell you so much about what's about to happen. You can see exactly how many hit points you're about to lose, exactly what direction the enemy is about to attack, and how much, how many, how many hit points. Uh, I just said that. Um. It's pretty clear what's happening. It's, yeah, like, and, and even things that are about to happen next to you that might not necessarily, you might not necessarily think about. Just all the interactions you could possibly want to see visualized, you get to see them. Which, and there's something to be said for a great UI. Uh, oh, we lost a guy. We lost a pilot. He's been deceased. He's, be, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so, we actually can't do a whole lot. Oh, this is bad. If I don't move, this guy's gonna die. Oh, they're gonna attack each other. Like in that 80s television. Uh, okay, alright. Like in that 80s television show, Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer. No one's gonna get that reference. No. They're, okay, I'll no. explain it. There's a part, there's a there's an episode of the 80s television show called Sledgehammer where there he uh, has a hit out on him where he's... Uh, there's many men attempting to assassinate him. He pulls up to a red light. Two men on either side of him pull up to the red light, and both of them are assassins. And he uh, drops his newspaper or his donut on the on the floor. He bends over to pick up the donut, and both of the assassins on either side of him who have guns aimed at him shoot each other, and they both die, and then he pulls away. There, I explained Ed's reference. It is extremely hilarious. Sledgehammer. So this is the point of the stars that you've been collecting over the entire island. This is what they're for. You can buy a random, a selection of randomly uh, chosen items out of the, the total item pool. Some of these are, you know, passive effects, which are really quite useful. Some of them give you brand new attacks. Like, remember this one, the, the airplane mech had, well, the, the one that we didn't pick. Uh, or you can get more reactor cores to give your individual mechs more move or more health or you can repair your grid. So you have a bunch of different options. Also, you can just sell your own stuff if you have too many pilots or too many weapons that you don't use. Can you sell your own pirates? You sure can. Pilots? So long. So long. I can even sell all of our weapons. Well, this run is fucked. <laughs> we don't have any pilots. <laughs> sure is. I just made it a whole lot harder. Uh, but now we do have eight stars, eight reputation. 
And uh, for example, we can buy two of these cores because they cost three, and we can repair the grid by two. So we're almost up to full here. And anything that goes past this uh, this top bar here improves your percentage chance to resist. Oh, so, so it's kind of an overkill. It is. It is great, actually. Yeah, yeah. And you can see all the information listed down here. Overpower bonus, zero out of 25. So we have none, of course. And since I got all those reactor cores, we can feel free to plug in those cores anywhere we want. So now we do extra damage with that rock attack. And, uh... Oh, I wish I hadn't killed... I wish I hadn't sold those pilots. Well then. So that's one island down. There are three more to go. You only have to do two to get to the final area, which is somewhere else on the map that I'm not going to spoil. But there is one final battle, which is a very interesting hot fight, which I will not spoil. The only it's thing I will say... It is a volcano! <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> well, because you said hot! And there's not really that many terrains left over what after we've seen all these. We've got poison, we've got snow, we've got desert, we've got like a forest with oh. some mountains around it. Maybe what it else is left besides volcano? And volcanoes are usually in one of the last areas in the game. Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, maybe it was just another desert or something. You well, just... you, there you go. Spoiled. Into the Breach. I cannot recommend it enough. I love FTL. I love this. It is very... It's a very different beast than FTL. There's almost no RNG, and it's almost all entirely based on how good you are. Yeah, I guess the map generation is the RNG, right? Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, as long as you can manage, as long as you can manage your own squad and, and, and you understand their moves, you're in for a good time, I think. So once again, thanks to Subset Games. And this game has been a long time coming, and I think it is totally worth it. I think it is totally worth it. So, again, check it out. Thanks again to Subset Games. We'll Th see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.